assembly on how to put together our birdhouse. It's the cutest die. It's a big die. It can cut all sorts of material, but it creates this cute little box and it's designed by one of our oh so clever designers, Kath Breen. So it's a big die. So as you know, it can cut mat board, chipboard, felt, fabric. It's a great project that you can put together with um, felt covered cardstock just to give it a little um, texture and a little whimsy to your project. So I'm going to walk you through it and since I'm here by myself I'm going to have to turn the camera down. So you're going to cut a couple of pieces. Let me just show you really quickly. You're going to take the bigs die and you're going to cut it two times and I'll show you the pieces that you need to layer as you cut just so you can have it either all one color or uh, tone it up a little bit and have the roof a different color. So bear with me, I'm gonna turn the camera down. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything here. So as I said, it's a big sty, and you are able to see when you look down all the different blades. So these are all the different areas that you're gonna be cutting. Make sure your paper is completely covering the entire blade area. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and already cut um, two of the pieces, so you need to cut it twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run it through and I'm gonna put one piece of paper on top of the entire area. Now this just gives me one of everything, obviously. So when I cut it through, it's gonna do the score lines and it's also going to cut the area around the um, actual birdhouse. So I'm run it through like this. I'm using my Big Shot Fold Away. Now, I could put more than one piece of cardstock on at a time, but sometimes with the pressure of the machine, the score lines might cut through instead of actually um, scoring it. So as you can see, it cut all the pieces perfectly. Put these off to the side. And all these little pieces here, the score lines here and here, those are the parts I'm gonna be folding in in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna do my rooftop a different color. So I'm gonna bring my machine back and I'm going to put my pattern paper. This is the Earl Grey color and it's the new pattern paper pad that we have and you have multiple patterns and it's double-sided. So the best part about it is you pretty much get double of everything because you have two different patterns. So since my roof is the part that has the slit, this is the little piece here that got stuck in there. So I'm gonna take my die pick and pick that out. So the reef, roof part is the part that has that little slit in it. I'm not gonna, I don't need it to cover this whole area, but I just wanna make sure I have this roof in another pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that, make sure it's covering the entire bladed area. Run it through my fold away one more time. When you hear the crackling of the machine, it doesn't ruin your machine or the cutting pad. It's just letting you know the blade is hitting the uh, material and hitting the cutting pad. So you, as you know, from time to time need to flip it before you replace it so i've got that ready to go so like i said i cut already ahead of time and i want to show you what you're going to do next so i've already folded this in so what i like to do or what you need to do is you're going to fold in all these individual little tabs just fold them down all the way around easy peasy because they're already scored go on the other side just to kind of manipulate it and get it ready to go. Then I'm just gonna bring them up just a little bit. And this part here, there's another score line. I'm gonna bring that back down that way. And so these are already scored and I'm gonna do this one also. So this is the piece, the side of the birdhouse. The reason this is the same color as the birdhouse because it's the walls. So this is the individual piece, the one without the slit that you're going to also cut the same color as the birdhouse. It's up to you, but you figure the walls are usually the same color as the house. So I'm gonna fold this tab here. And then the other one here. You wanna make sure the good side of the paper is on the outside of the birdhouse. So we have two of these. And then for the rooftop, I wanna have the polka dot side out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score one of them. That's ready to go. But on this one, I'm going to go ahead and just trim it. I'm just gonna trim it off at the score line. So just so I can mark it kind of and see where it is, I am gonna score it. And then with my glasses on, I'm gonna trim that down and trim that off. So I don't need this little piece here. The reason I did that is because I wanted to have a clean edge against the fold of the roof. So this is the rooftop, and this is the part I just cut. This one does not have the flap. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my express glue or any kind of wet adhesive or double-sided tape on this tab here or the flap and then glue it down. So straight edge against the score line. So I'm gonna put my express glue on the tab that I folded. Like kind of bite that off a little bit. Oops, I got some on the roof. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay the straight edge of the piece that I just cut against the score line of the roof. And I'm just gonna let that sit to dry and put that off to the side. So let me just show you, there's two different ways you could assemble this. So once you have your roof top and then the walls put together, if you don't want your um, ribbon to be seen on the outside, you can have it this way. You can go ahead and I'll show you on the inside how you want to do it like that. So the ribbon is up the walls on the inside of the house. And when that's all done, it'll look like this. But if you want to have it on the outside, it looks just as cute. I'll show you how you would do that. So let me show you. So what I'd like to actually, I'll untie this so you can see how it looks on the inside because they're both a little bit different. So you lift up the roof. And this way, the ribbon is just on the whole exterior of the house. You don't see it on the inside at all. So you just pull that up and then tie it. So you see the ribbon on the outside. It's all assembled on the outside. But like I showed you on this one, you're going to assemble it with the ribbon kind of hidden on the inside. So what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my express glue and this, these are the walls. So you want to hide all of your assembly. You don't like to see the tabs on the inside. You kind of want to have it a clean um, finish on the inside. So I'm going to take this. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it with it on the outside. Or with you not being able to see it on the outside because that's a little um, less self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead and lay just a little bit of adhesive here. And then put my ribbon. Make sure it's even just down on the inside doesn't have to be you just want to center it okay so that's ready to go so like i said you want to make sure the fixings or the assembly of your box is kind of hidden so the two side walls will go down first you want to have the good side of the birdhouse walls on the outside so all of the this is the textured side of your cardstock this is our banana blast color so i'm going to go ahead oops, and lay that down and you want to just match it up. You want the edge of the base of the birdhouse to be against the score line. So all your assembly is hidden. Put that down under there. So see, now you do not see the ribbon on the outside. Okay. Same thing, bring the ribbon forward. Put a little adhesive either here or on my flap of the wall and then go ahead and lay that down right there against the score line on this one so hopefully you can see that so here are the walls they're all set and ready and the ribbon is on the inside okay so the next part you're going to do is you're going to take this final piece. This is the other side of your birdhouse. And I'm going to put adhesive all on this, or I could put it on this part here. I'll just go ahead and put it on here. I like to rub that down a little bit just to get some of it off. And then it's going to match up exactly right against the walls of the um, part you just laid down because it's the same exact um, measurements and it matches exactly against the opposite side and you turn it over and see that I need to get it up a little higher right there on the score line so when it's all opened up it should look like this and all your tabs are hidden so it's kind of gives you a clean effect like that okay so then you're going to take your bottom tabs make sure they're on the inside and then just you're going to put a little bit of the liquid adhesive or whichever adhesive you choose on every single little tab there i like to wipe it down just so a little bit of it doesn't get all on there and then you're just going to guide it along the folded 
edge score line of the side of the birdhouse. This is the wall. And just hold it a little bit as it's drying. And so the tabs you can see are on the inside. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat it with this side. Adhesive on all the little tabs. Wipe it off. A little bit there on the bottom one. And the same thing, guide it along the side of the birdhouse wall. Hold it as it dries. This right here, our express glue has the perfect name for it, express, so it dries very quickly. Once it's down, it is down. So with the tabs hidden on the inside, it gives it a clean finish on the side of the box. Bring the ribbons back forward. You can put the glue on all the tabs, both sides. If I work quickly, they won't dry as I go to the other side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Wipe my fingers off <laughs> and just guide it along with the tabs on the inside on all sides. Hold it while it dries. It's the cutest little box, perfect little size. You can roll up money for a gift, put some pretty jewels in there. You could um, add a little dowel or rolled up cute piece of pad paper for a um, little perch underneath the little window that's cut out. A toothpick, paint a little toothpick or a tiny little dowel, and um, that would be very cute. So any of our card socks, all of our pattern paper, all coordinate with our um, card stock, so it gives a great either you're going to do a contrast or you're going to have it match up perfectly. It um, the tones are perfect. You can do glitter, so our embossing powder and our glues. Our glues, our embossing powder, our glitters, our sequins of beads, everything's coordinated. So whatever you add or embellish to your little birdhouse, it'll all match up with your paper. So the rooftop is already scored and has already dried. So that's ready to go. I'm gonna thread it through the ribbon. Thread this side through. Make sure it's not inside out. There we go. I mean, there's nothing better than getting a fun box like this, a new die to put together, and now you know exactly how to assemble it. So go ahead and tie the ribbon, put a little bow on top. Don't want to press too hard tying the bow because you don't want to um, crush your rooftop. You might have to build another birdhouse. <laughs> Bear with me with this narrow ribbon. Depends on what kind of ribbon you use, pattern, however, which way it makes such a cute little uh, decorative little item. Oops, I did not do a very good job here. Do this one more time. Since there's no uh, jewels or money in it, it's not very... Um, stable, so it's wiggling around a little bit, but you get the gist. I'm just guessing, right? I mean, it's such a cute project, and in the end, it'd be a great little idea to have for a party favor if you have a little birdhouse theme party, or you know, have a little um, either with the party favors inside, or you could have it as their little place card. I mean, how cute is that? So, with all the assembly, and this is a narrower ribbon, this ribbon is about half an inch or maybe a little bit smaller and this one is a little bit wider so the slit fits perfectly no matter what um, width ribbon you have but the decorative piece in the end is so much fun so like I said any of our sequins and beads will coordinate with it this is a banana blast and the earl gray this is our um, our um, mermaid kiss and primrose and then Obviously, this is basic white, but I could have glittered this rooftop. I could have covered it with sequins and beads. Could have actually covered it with real um, birdseed. That would be kind of fun, too. <laughs> but 
set around a table or in a flower arrangement on a little pole, add a little perch here in the front with a little dowel, that would be super cute. So let me turn the camera up. So I hope now you're excited to put your gift box together, creating all sorts of wonderful projects with the birdhouse, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.